Hey, Saturday at Reach Play, I said we there's a bit of a surprise this week, and um, I'm so excited. I'm on my way to go and fetch it and see you when we get there. Yeah, I've been looking for a camping trailer for quite a while now, and uh, last week I bought a Invader Quattro from Linwood Trailers and Leisure World. So today's the big day, I can go and fetch it. I'm just I'm excited, it's, it's such a nice trailer and it's easy to set up but um, yeah, um, yeah we'll, we'll, we're gonna get it and uh, then later today or during the course of the weekend I'll pitch it up at home and go through all the detail and tell you exactly what it can do and cannot do and but yeah, no, it's an awesome, awesome trailer. So, see you now at the shop. Just now. and Leisure World just took me through we, we basically we set up the whole trailer just now he showed me how everything works and um, yeah the trailer is hooked up and I'm ready to take it home so yeah uh, during the next couple of days I'll, I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna take you through each and every little thing of this trailer um, yeah, I'm, I'm sucked this is gonna change the way we camp it's going to be awesome it's going to be going to be able to go to so many new places it's it's going to be absolutely fabulous We finished setting up the invader camping trailer and so let me show you okay I'm gonna start with the inside here we've got a double bed 
and the mattress here is quite it's quite thick I was quite surprised how thick it is and the kids slept in here last night and I thought it was absolutely awesome this side uh, a three-quarter double bed so easily um, sleep a family of four then we've got a wash basin inside the trailer which is also very nice and then also one of the main reasons we, we bought the invader is it comes with a toilet and that toilet you can also take out and, and we're probably planning to do that and put it outside in a little shower cubicle or something then there's ample storage space yes for your clothes and what's quite nice in the, for the evening you've got some nice lights here underneath and yeah, some more storage some there yeah, are also uh, seats two seating spaces there with cushions and yeah even more storage so also as you can see as all around the the tent or the top part there's windows that can be opened for nice airflow and this part just um, on top of the trailer took me eight minutes to set up yesterday and it was my first time they say you can do it easily in five minutes which is absolutely awesome so you can arrive at whatever camping spot you are you just set it up five minutes you're good to go however this full part extension took me a little bit longer i think i need to practice it a little bit but it took me quite quite a long time to set up is figuring out all the different poles and get them in the right place but what i've done to try and solve for that is i bought a label maker so this is the brother p-touch label maker um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to label each pole to say this is the main left vertical pole and then hopefully next time we go camping um, we can very easily set out all the poles in the right spots and places immediately using the, the labels that's on them and yeah I think that's going to make a big difference okay now this part you can you can either just set up this part or just this part so you can choose or both which is quite nice depending how long you're going to camp and what your needs are and you can see they this part zips into place into this main tent and this part also zips in so if you don't want to use this main part and just that um, front awning just zips in you put up the poles you're good to go then I also put in some lights here and this is quite nice it's yellow main reason this is one of the biggest tips I can give you yellow lights is critical if you go out camping in the bush um, yellow light doesn't attract the bugs so that is definitely something you need to have the, it, it really works it doesn't attract the bikes as, as a normal white light on the outside, outside here we've got the, the kitchen it's got a microwave in it's got a nice cutting board it's got uh, at the bottom here support for, for this table and then you've got the cable there as well and then although this is the invader quad, quad row all the cutlery etc is for six people and what you easily can do is either you know it's always good to have extra but in this compartment you can um, easily set up a stretcher or so and you can have some you know additional sleeping space for another two people and then you've got all your plates and mugs and it's some very you know it's tight very tightly so if you go in the bush and it's bumpy etc nothing is going to break there's some extra space there for pots or whatever and then yeah 
you've got inside additional packing space for spices and a whole bunch of other things needed for for cooking and what they also say is these two cupboards inside here yeah, is ideally suited to you know if you need extra space for your kitchen uh, wear or food you can use these two cupboards and as mentioned there's already ample other um, packing space in the trailer for clothes and other things okay now here's a double stove it works on gas then you've got another um, water with a tap here and this pulls out for your dishes you can wash your dishes it comes loose you can throw the water out yeah it's absolutely awesome then here we've got the compartment for the fridge okay so i've got a 90 liter national luna fridge it's currently in the land rover and it will easily fit in there this pulls out so there you got your fridge everything nicely set up in this area all of this was inclusive in the trailer everything except these side walls I buy that extra but I think it's definitely worth it um, either for if you go camping for quite a uh, extended period of time or if you go fishing for even just for a weekend and it's quite windy it'd be very really nice to have these side panels in place and obviously also for drains it will be extremely helpful but it's also nice to see you can unzip this and then it slightly extends the main sleeping or the double bed area and on the other side it also extends it by a little bit so I'm about I'm 1.82 meters and I can easily um, sleep in that bed but the extra bit of room is going to be it's going to be excellent okay the one thing I didn't put in while I did the setup well, actually two things but the one is the ground sheet and the ground sheet is here uh, it's a uh, 6.5 by 4.8 meters so it's it's quite big it's going to fit in nicely into this whole area and then also i didn't secure these side walls with pens um, you know although the wind is blowing a little bit today um, last night there was absolutely no wind but definitely recommended that if you go camping you need to secure these side walls with um, pegs at the back here you've got your spare wheel and i've got the two jerry cans uh, unfortunately it had to be yellow because i wanted the diesel ones okay on this side we've got a shower um it was absolutely brilliant um, last time we went camping for two days we, there was no facilities and we really needed to, to have taken a shower and yeah now we've got one we together with this we bought an austral pop-up shower cubicle and i'll show that um, just now and here's the little pump and yeah it's brilliant and it's also got hot water so on this side we've got the geyser there's a built-in geyser here that either works on electricity or on gas and um, yeah we we tested it uh, yesterday and it heats up the water you know very well so yeah you're not gonna have to take a cold shower with this thing here we've got the shower pop-up cubicle um thomas if you can maybe yeah and pop it for us yeah, yeah. let's <laughs> pop like them And then there's the shower pump. Ah. This is the inside. And it's got two places on both sides where you can zip open and closed. Maybe to get a 
probably hang your towel on that side. Got some pouches here for your soap and shampoo. And this might be a nice event. And then if we open this zip, you can get the shower and you can hang it there. And then you shower. Okay, and then you can close this off. You have some nice privacy. Yeah, so you want to take a shower? wasn't too expensive as you could see it's quite easy to set up and yeah you just put it here next to the trailer the invader uh, comes with a hundred liter water tank and yes where you fill it up and then if you do camp at a place where there is electricity just plug it in there and that will also then charge your battery so inside here is some extra packing space Still not sure what I'm going to use this for, but it's good. Uh, we'll probably find something. And then here we've got a, a deep cycle battery, a Victron Energy Smart Charger, and a Victron Solar Charger. So if you do not have power, you've still got um, battery power. And what's quite nice, and I'll show you now. Um, there's a 12 volt socket, there's a whole bunch of 12 volt sockets all over the place. And then here yeah, you've got a plug for your solar, solar panel. So I've got two 100 watt solar panels, so that should be more than enough to recharge the battery during the day. And in this compartment, I've got gas bottles. This way I showed you the fridge will go. And here we've got the gas bottles with a a uh, regulator in the pipe and that goes to the gas stove as well as the geyser and in the front here there's just some extra storage space uh, probably going to use this area for storing all these additional tent extensions and yeah you know, trailer's got a braking system so if you Unhooked it from your vehicle, you can put it on brake. Um, yes, also cabling, hook up the battery system to your car vehicle and you can use your car vehicle to to charge your your uh, trailer's battery, which is really nice. The only problem I've got is I've got a lithium battery in my Land Rover and I probably would need to, at some point, replace this lead acid deep cycle battery with a lithium as well so that they can talk to each other and here's one of the stabilizers so that's probably the first things you need to set up once you've parked your trailer also for this section of the bed you've got your support beams here we've got the other stabilizer and it shows the trailer is stable okay here's some additional tent poles i haven't used so on this side there's a flap here that you can extend out and it's probably advisable that you do that especially if there's going to be rain and then there's also a short awning on this side that I didn't set up because of the paving on this side but it's also advisable that you set that up in case of rain okay in terms of the battery system so as I mentioned here yes your control panel it's got your DC on off switch, your lights on off, it's got your water pump, it's on at the moment when I showed you the shower. Then you've got uh, for your geyser you can set it to gas or to electricity and then here you've got your geyser on off switch. Okay, here is a electricity plug for when your trailer is hooked up onto electricity but here's also a 12 volt plug as well as another 12 volt plug then on the outside there's another two 12 volt plugs and that's where I've plugged in the lights and then here at the bottom here's another three electricity plugs for when your trailer's hooked up 
on the electricity. One thing that I might consider at some point is to put the inverter in, but at the moment I already got an inverter in, in the Land Rover, so if I do need electricity, I'll probably just run a cable from the Land Rover to the trailer if, if required. On this side of the door, there's some pouches here to put um, small things, and you can also put maybe some, you know, bra equipment um, in here. Yeah, so. I think this is it. I think I went through all of it. Um, yeah, we're so excited. We, we hopefully we're gonna go camping soon, and um, yeah, I'll start using this magnificent camping trailer. That's it. I think I went through everything. Just a couple of comments. Why I got the Invader? Uh, they've got two models. They've got the Dio and the Quattro. I wanted the Quat Quattro for in case. Um, you know uh, my daughter my wife joins us for for camping and then also because you know it's it, it's so spacious it's got everything we need it's got the, the toilet was quite important uh, uh, factor and then the other reason is also the, the these trailers are made of fiberglass it's light it's not going to be too difficult or too heavy to tow um, they say it really tows very well, very easily. Um, I think we can have so many more amazing fishing adventures with this trailer. Uh, okay, then I also want to say thank you to Linwood Trailers and Leisure World. Um, I received excellent service from Henk and Adrian. Um, they helped me um, when I went to fetch the vehicle the other day. Henk spent about two, two and a half hours taking me through everything. And um, yeah, it was just a brilliant experience. Okay, Thomas, what's your favorite part of the new camping trailer? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, if you like the content, if you want to watch more of our stuff, please subscribe. Like, share, and comment. Till next time. Till next time. <laughs>